everyone in this video we're going to be solving a differential equation dy over dx is equal to cube root of x plus y and we're going to solve this differential equation now we did a similar problem recently hopefully you'll remember if you haven't seen it yet you can go ahead and check it out here so we're gonna start by replacing x plus y with something how about z if you replace x plus y with z x is a function of x, y is a function of x, the sum is also going to be a function of x. So we can actually express dz over dx, and we could call that z prime for short. And obviously dy over dx can be called y prime. So under those conditions, let's go ahead and differentiate both sides here. If you differentiate x, you get 1. Uh, the derivative of y is y prime, and the derivative of z is just z prime. Awesome. From here, we can isolate y prime and write it as z prime minus 1. And now, let's go ahead and replace y prime and z prime with pretty much everything, right? But what do we have on the right-hand side? We have the cube root of z. Great. So we get y prime equals z prime minus 1, and that is equal to cube root of z. Now, let's take this equation, this one, and replace z prime with dz over dx and then solve it. So we get dz over dx minus 1 equals the cube root of z. And then we can add 1 to both sides, can't we? Obviously, you want to isolate dz over dx if you can, right? Cube root of z plus 1. Awesome. But how awesome is this, right? Let's go ahead and separate the variables so it's going to be awesomer. dz over cube root of z plus 1 equals dx. Nice. The variables are separated, so I can go ahead and actually integrate both sides. We differentiated, we use substitution, now is the time to integrate because we, we have the d's, right? dx and dz I mean, that's what I mean by d's. And we can go ahead and integrate. But wait a minute, the right hand side is fairly easy, it's just going to be x plus c with a constant, right? Well, what about the left-hand side? It's not that easy, is it? I mean, would you know when you integrate something like this, the answer would be 3 over 2, the cube root of z squared, minus 3 times the cube root of z, plus 3 times ln, the cube root of z plus 1. You probably wouldn't know this, right? I mean, how on earth are you going to come up with this, unless you memorize the formula? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let me explain how we can get there. I'm going to go ahead and use substitution one more time because substitution is awesome. Don't you think so? So we have a couple different alternatives. Like we can call this something or we can call the whole thing something. Again, that's up to you. But I think calling the cube root of z something is better because we can directly, you know, just cube both sides. If you cube both sides, you're going to get z equals t cubed. And remember, when you replace something with z uh, with something else, then obviously you want to get to dz, and the one of the best ways to do it is getting the z by itself. So, from here we're going to go to dz, kind of makes me dizzy, doesn't it? And we're just going to differentiate. So the derivative of t cubed is what? 3t squared, and I just have to multiply by dt. In other words, if you divide both sides by dt, you get dz over dt, which is 3t squared. That's where the d's come from. Make sense? Hopefully it does. This is something we always use with integration. So just get used to it. It'll help you a lot in the long run. Okay? So we got dz. And we have this. Cube root of z. Now we can go ahead and plug it in. dz will be replaced with this. 3t squared dt. I could also separate the dt, but it doesn't matter. No big deal. At the bottom, we, we're going to have t plus 1. Now... Alternatively, if you replaced cube root of z plus 1 with something like, let's say, u, okay, then you would just subtract, u would just subtract, okay, you would subtract, you wouldn't subtract, uh, 1 from both sides, and then cube both sides, and that would bring in u minus 1 cubed, uh, which is a little bit uh, longer. But guess what? That's perfectly fine because the denominator is going to be simpler in that case. So definitely you can go either route. That's fine, but I'm going to follow this if you forgive me. Okay, because this has a really cool trick. Okay, ready? We're going to go ahead and 
you know, just totally get rid of the 3 or just forget about it for now and focus on t squared over t plus 1. Okay, I want to make the numerator divisible by t plus 1. And aren't you thinking difference of 2 squares? That's what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and write it as t squared minus 1 plus 1. A little bit of hocus pocus, I mean mathematic. And then you can kind of separate it into two pieces. This is going to be t minus 1 plus 1 over t plus 1. Beautiful. So in other words, we kind of did the uh, partial fractions maybe, I don't know. Uh, we, we did polynomial division actually. If you divide the t plus 1 into t squared and look at the remainder, so on and so forth, yeah, you would get the same thing. But I just like this better because it's cooler. Okay, now we're going to multiply this whole thing by 3. So it's going to look like this. The integral of t minus 1 plus 1 over t plus 1 will be multiplied by 3 dt. And now if you integrate term by term, the, the integral of t, think about it. How do you integrate x? You add 1 and divide by that, right? It's just the opposite of power rule. It's going to be t squared divided by 2. The integral of 1 is just going to be t. Think about the derivative of what is 1. The answer is t because t is the variable and t is fun. And now this one is ln with a t plus 1, but doesn't matter. It's just going to be t ln t plus 1. Let me just ignore the absolute value for now. And I'm not putting the constant because I already have it on the right-hand side. You got that? Cool. Now, of course, 3 will be multiplied by everything. So I kind of have to put all of these inside the parentheses. Make sure uh, not to make any mistakes. Now we're going to go ahead and back substitute. Let's go ahead and do it. What is t? t is the cube root of z, right? Okay, great. So let's go ahead and replace t with cube root of z. That's going to be cube root of z squared divided by 2 minus cube root of z plus ln cube root of z plus 1. And that is 3 times. And then that's equal to x plus c. Remember, on the right hand side, we had integral of dx, which is what it is. Now, here's the fun part. We're going to go ahead and replace z with x plus y because that's what it is. Back substitute. Okay, awesome. It's going to be cube root of x plus y squared divided by 2 minus cube root of x plus y plus ln cube root of x plus y plus 1. And then that is equal to x plus c. I mean, can you solve for x or y from here? I don't think so. It's pretty complicated. I don't think you could apply Lambert's W function on this one, but correct me if I'm wrong. Now, here's the question. Here's the million dollar question. Can we use a different sub? Absolutely. Let's go back to our integral. Actually, not our integral, but I mean the original equation, right? And let's start there. I can definitely replace cube root of x plus y with something like u. And then from here, I get x plus y equals u cubed. And then differentiate both sides, you're going to get 1 plus y prime is equal to 3 u squared times u prime. This is not d, by the way. It's just differentiation. And then from here, y prime can be written as 3 u squared u prime minus 1. And then by replacing it with whatever that is, you get 3 u squared u prime minus 1 equals the cube root of x plus y, which is u in this case. Add 1 to both sides. And then divide by 3 u squared, and you're going to get something very, very similar. But um, to solve this problem, oh, by the way, you first need to replace u prime with du over dx, and then you're going to divide by u plus 1. So you're going to get something like 3 u squared over u plus 1, so on and so forth. I hope that looks familiar. And you're going to get the exact same results. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.